Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Factional Fight Brothers, my name's Brian, that's my brother Adam, and today it's all about highways, we're delving into the test server so that we can learn what they are, how to do them, and we're actually going to do them, so let's get started. Alright, so how are you doing, Adam? I'm pretty good. There you go. You excited to, to get yeah, started? I'm excited because this is the first time really I've been experimenting on the test server. I've been on the test server before, but like very shortly, and I feel like we're going to get some stuff done here. Well, one thing's for sure on the test server, you're, you're looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't know why you're female. Uh, that's <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it randomly picks one for you. I, on the you other hand, exactly like <laughs> you do <laughs> in the real game. I look exactly the same. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the test server. We had like some time to figure out even how to get onto the test server. Uh, I didn't realize there was like a stable test server client and an unstable test server client. I don't know. I I, <laughs> I don't remember there being an unstable test server client. I guess that came you know, I after I was a. Uh, feel like I'm on the stable test server it. client because I couldn't really find the unstable one. No, uh, you just go to wormpedia.com. Okay, to the wiki. Yeah, and uh, it's right there. Search. For I can even what? show show everyone here uh, on the main page. If I can show you guys okay. what I'm doing yep. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, wormpedia.com. Yep. Uh huh. I'm here. Oh, I see. Yeah. The there we go. There. Play Unstable the play button test. is the main stable client for the main game. Then there's the unstable live, <laughs> okay. stable test, and the unstable test. So I'm gonna log out here <laughs> and log back You're in onto on the, the... the stable one eh? or the unstable yeah. one. Oh, it might yeah, take. So a I'm bit on the time, unstable but, uh... test. Well, that's okay. fine. Uh, that's not why we're here. Uh, <laughs> we logged in. Yeah. Yeah. We, we figured some stuff out. Uh, fooling around on the test server for a bit. But mm. we're here for the highway. So tell me, because you're more of an expert than I am, meaning that you read more, docu uh, more documents, basically like one document. <laughs> about the highway than i did uh what is the highway system like we had highways already yeah what does this do yeah. so that that system didn't before this change it was seemed to be like a system where the gms would have to enforce the maintenance of the highways like the i guess the the game developers did not want highways to be able to be just destroyed um mm -hmm. you know so they made it so that there were written rules on the forum that you had to follow you could not destroy a highway uh and if you did then you're violating those rules and gms can come in and you know dish out punishment or whatever it is to people <laughs> who are griefing um and i guess replace the highway back uh you know there were rules like, for example, if let's say you deeded over a highway, uh, you had to keep that highway open, uh, tons of stuff like that. So that's the way it used to work. Now, this system kind of replaces the need for that, or at least that's its intention. So they, they're they trying to automate this whole highway system? Is that basically what's, or making it player driven or something? Yeah, yeah. They're trying to like make it player driven, game driven, like there's a mechanic now that's going to protect your highways and make sure that people don't, um, you know, destroy them just for the sake of destroying them. Yeah. So just from what I know about what highways are, they have to be what, two tiles wide, at least mm -hmm. something like that right. or, or larger. And then they have 
to at least go somewhere i assume like be long and then yeah. they get protected by a gm i don't exactly know how it works like before the way yeah it the before, before. I mean, yeah so yeah there was like it had to be two tiles wide uh it could be a single tile with you know sand or gravel on either side uh and you know what it made sense after somebody mentioned on the forums i think it's retro saying that it's that way because it's paved like they, they consider like uh cobblestone not cobblestone um uh, gravel mm. pavement anyway right okay so it's like you you have established three wide tiles it's just one i see right that's pretty cool so this new system this is what i know about it uh so far one there's seems to be two items added to the right. game to accommodate the system one's this tiny little guy cat's eye yep because it has an eye in it i guess and the other one is this waystone mm -hmm. so with these two items you're saying we can replace the old system is that yeah seems to be yeah. what it is so it makes it so that uh, you can still dig these roads. You can like lower them or raise them. Mm -hmm. um, however, the tile will remain paved, and yeah, I guess that's it. I guess, uh, and you can like only change the the slope to a maximum of twenty, which you know you're allowed to walk up nicely anyway, right? Okay. So, but it makes it so you cannot destroy the pavement. The highway will remain intact and stay there unless you destroy the waystone or the cat's eye uh is there any other rules like can you deed over them hmm, that's a good question can you deed over i feel them? like you still can like this there's, there's a like deed right now mm -hmm. as long as it's not deeded uh and then i don't know before you would have to does this protect so you're saying this protects the road like you cannot del get rid of the pavement that's essentially what it does right yeah it doesn't get rid of the pavement so if i if i right click them and i say i see view protection and view links let's see what they do view protection mm -hmm. okay so it creates this giant green grid that i can see right <laughs> yeah and i'm assuming that we are seeing a graphic representation of which tiles we are not allowed to unpave. Right. I'm guessing. Uh, yes. What does view links do? Let's see. Viewing links puts arrows on either side. I guess it's showing which direction that there are links. And by links, maybe that means waystone. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know. Uh, so I, I would assume there's a waystone somewhere that way and the waystone here. Yeah. Uh, so the way that links work is that a single uh, cat's eye can only have two links. It can only go in two directions. Like notice like each, oh, okay. each cat's eye is on a tile corner. It's like that little tiny square called the tile mm -hmm. corner. Yeah. And every tile corner has four tile borders, right? Yes. So a cat's eye, you can only go two directions. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, so they, they wouldn't Actually, be able to go for, like, they wouldn't be able to go, like, northwest and, or north-south and east-west. It was just one exactly. of those or the other one of those or it can't uh, be a t it can't be a t you know what i mean like you can't connect the road going you know making a t with this road now another thing that's interesting is that you can have a link going diagonally oh okay right? so there's actually eight ways so to for link. diagonal roads right for the diagonal roads right so if i if, if instead of placing a cat's eye like where i'm standing here but instead i placed it here yeah. It would, you know, start a diagonal road from that location and protect that area. Okay. One thing I'm noticing is that they're on every single tile. Mm -hmm. they is, is that, do they have to be like if I missed yeah. one of those tiles that it wouldn't the link wouldn't be connected? Correct. If it if you missed one, it would 
not be completed. Wow. Okay, so the, they this you know one of them would turn red, saying that you're at the end of the road, essentially. Like if you look over here, there's one that's red. Oh, there's, there's different colors, and they actually show us uh -huh. what's going on. Exactly. <laughs> oh, look at that. The something. the the waystone actually says that too. Right, right. And the <laughs> this green, side is what, green. What the green that means is that it's so either on the other end of this line is another way. Like it'll connect to another waystone, which is it could potentially end at that waystone. Okay. Right? But the green means that it's connected to a waystone. Um, and I think that that waystone is on a deed. I, I'm not 100% sure about this because I'm reading the documents and it's quite lengthy and it's very, there's a lot of like little things to, to like, but I'm pretty sure like if you look on, you know, the sign, it's actually telling you a name of a deed that's been planted over there and that this highway connects to. And that deed's called Complicated Crossings right. 210. <laughs> yeah, now the 210 tells you how many tiles away that oh, that deed is. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. That's pretty now, nice. What's amazing though is that that might not that deed might not be the end of the highway, right? Like there might be a connection on that deed to another highway. That's right. Right? So if that's the case, you can right click the sign, like the waystone or whatever. Or the way yeah, is it yeah. called the waystone? Yeah, waystone. And click on the find root button. Find root. Huh. Find a route to village. Right, and there's a drop down uh, menu. And which one should menu, I choose? Okay, so the yeah. secret escape tunnel or <laughs> the mountain view asylum? The mountain view asylum. Yeah, let's go with mountain view asylum. All right, so I'll do that. And then there's another thing that says you may also specify village name here. Okay, so I'm going to okay. choose one from the list. Uh, the village must have a waystone in it. Okay, so it says send. Okay. And now it's telling me that Mountain View Asylum, oh wow, it says on the sign, is yeah. 1,969 tiles away. Right. Holy crap. Isn't but, that awesome? And it changes, it changes like yellow, and it'll only change for you, right? Like another person could have a different... That's so interesting that that's actually possible. So you don't see the that change. other thing that I... I don't see that change. Mine is whatever... Now, what oh, the other interesting thing that's amazing is that let's say that. this goes to another waystone, which it should because it's connected green. Mm -hmm. When I get to that waystone, it's going to have automatically changed its sign to Mountain View Asylum for for you. Really, and it's going to have the yellow like arrow pointing really? which way you need to go. Yeah, so Isn't that uh, amazing. <laughs> so it remembers that. I wonder it if remembers it remembers that. that even if I log off or if it's just for this one session. That's interesting. I, w I wonder. Right. I right but not, even if it goes away, like that's, yeah, that's you can like, do it again. and if you go to find a route, there's a way to clear it. Right. If you're like annoyed by it or you want to just set it back to the default. Oh yeah. Clear the route. Deed, right. You clear the route and it goes back to the closest deed. Interesting. It's not let's, even let's the closest deed. I think it's the next deed, right? Like the next deed, if you follow this waystone, is exactly 216 tiles away. Oh. And I will find that deed at the end of this. That's like the next deed over. Do you see a six there? I almost see an eight. It's and I love side. how... Oh, yeah, it is eight. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the eight sides? Yeah. No, it, yeah, says, it says 218 tiles away. But the eight oh, looks see. like a... Uh, Kind of, I don't know, an Weird, eight that's yeah. it's gone to sleep. Uh, you know, I, I I must say that I think that the the font could be a little bit better. Like uh, under certain circumstance, uh, it's it's really hard to read. Eh, it's a it's a medieval font. It sort is. Of. It, it, yeah. I anyway. haven't sat there and not been able to figure out what it says. So. Although I'll be honest, in the I, I just switched to the unstable client. I was on the stable before, and it's mm -hmm. a lot nicer on the unstable client. I must say, really, I can read it much more clearly. It was a lot more pixelated. Oh, uh, okay. On the stable client, so that's uh, well, there you go. And soon yeah. the unstable will become the stable, and we will not have to have this discussion. Right. <laughs> so, all right. So let's see. What are we actually going to do? We're going to try to make a deed. Build a road 
to this road okay. and then can and then extend the highway to our deed right so that's the goal of this episode and we're going to find out exactly what that takes uh i'm assuming it's going to take a whole bunch of cat's eyes and <laughs> a waystone now in this episode we're, we've already made these items but right. just like you can log into the game and you can find out simply enough by clicking on the crafting window what does it take to build a cat's eye cat's eye there's right there to build a cat's eye you need an eye and a blind cat's eye i can right click that no i can double click this there's a blind cat's eye create you need a rock shard and a stone chisel mm -hmm. all of these things take paving by the way so here's oh, a right? whole bunch of items that we can now use to raise our paving skill. <laughs> can they be improved is the question. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that'd be interesting if a blind cat's eye could be improved or a waystone could be improved. So that's what it takes. You need a whole lot of these. So you just I need mean, some on the stone and some eyes. On the test server, cat's eyes in our inventories can be improved, it looks like. Okay, so there you go. So and can waystones can be improved too for paving skill that's a big change now waystones are a bit harder let's see waystone which is also paving first takes a rock shard to create an unfinished one and then you need a shaft and a compass the compass is the hard one right because we've created compasses in the past and it took a whole bunch of skills it takes pottery it takes blacksmithing so pottery to create the bowls, high quality bowls, blacksmithing to create the high quality needles, and is it olive oil? Yes. And olive oil. So you need like harvesting skill and uh now from that was what a it pain. seems that you don't need high quality stuff. You don't need a high quality compass, you just need a compass to complete it, so I wonder if this stuff does this stuff decay over time? Like if I drop like these the cat's eyes on the ground. Like the and the cat's eyes. Oh, while they're planted in there? I yes. would imagine... I would imagine they wouldn't. If it's like very slow decay or no decay at all because I, it's part well, I of mean, the system. The whole point of the highway system... Oh, wait. Now that I think about it, though. <laughs> highways normally would decay if yes. nobody used them. Yes. Huh. That's interesting. So maybe they should decay. Oh, question. And then there's there's the question of, okay, are these bashable? And we found the answer of that is yes, you can bash cat's eyes. But when we bashed one, it was 99 quality. Uh, right. But when we bashed it, it took off 0 0.034 like, damage. It added right. that much damage <laughs> to it. So it would take right. quite a long time. To yeah, I'm bash sure these. even like a low quality cat's eye would probably still take quite a long time to bash each one. Yeah. And so it does protect it in the sense that nobody, like somebody might come and try to bash one of the cat's eyes or whatever just for fun. Ooh. But uh, well, look at that. I we guess, got a cart and everything ready. I think that, you know, the GMs or that easy retro, I think, has mentioned that the GMs will still enforce. The bashing of cat's eyes like there's going to be something um yeah i don't know I, I guess that they're just hoping that it's going to be less chance for accidental mm -hmm. griefing by a newbie who's like hey i'm just going to do this but the cat's eyes are going to be really hard to bash and the hope is i guess the newbie is just going to be like mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, that's what I would assume. Like, there's a lot of cat's eyes that would need to be bashed. And I think they should decay over time as long as people aren't using the highway. But if people are walking down the highway, they, I don't think it should decay in the exact same way that a regular highway works, right? Like a like a regular road works. If you don't, if people walk on it on a regular basis, it doesn't decay. And I think, yeah, those cat's eyes should work the same way. Oh. Uh -huh. I would also agree, as long as it's not, well, yeah, as long as they stick around as much as, as roads, you're right. Yeah. So we're going to plant a deed here. But and imagine, yeah, let's do that. Where should, I, where should I plant it? Should I plant it over the road so like people, as they're coming through the road, have to pass our deed? Sure. 
Okay, should I place it right in the middle or? No. Sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I'm gonna have to go through the whole menu system of this. So, uh -huh. which, make which make a nice this? factional fight deed. What should we call this? Should we make it uh, big or just a five by five? Yeah, uh, just just do small. Okay, let's just do a small one. Survey the area. So you should be able to see the. Yeah, that titles. looks perfect. The name is going to be Factional Fight Village. Yeah. And we do not have any money, so I don't know if this is going to work. But um, <laughs> we, we have set no this money. To <laughs> save the number of guards. Let's see if this works. Found settlement. Congratulations, you're now the proud citizen <laughs> of Factional Fight Village. Okay, good. Finish. There you go. <laughs> so that is awesome. So we could have probably gotten guards. <laughs> I, I think we're okay. I haven't seen one, <laughs> one like animal on this entire tester. I don't even know if there is one. Yeah, I don't know. So one thing that I've seen, and I see it here before we start. Uh, let me let me get a mallet or a hammer or whatever. Yeah. So this, these cat's eyes here, I see the color red and I see the color blue. What does that mean? So we know that green you're saying means that they are all linked together. Yeah. There's like a waypoint over here and a waypoint over there. Yeah, exactly. And all of them are green. Red we saw meant that it's unfinished like this is the end of it right here right it is not done but what does blue mean yeah so blue means that and, and i think let me just pull this up to make sure i'm not like saying something wrong but i'm pretty sure that blue means that it's connected to a waypoint but at some point or another it's not so let me just pull it up here to make sure that I'm... let's see blah, blah blah okay blue indicates the same as green but the whole route is not complete. Hmm. That means somewhere along the chain is not complete. Right. Oh, so I it see could what be it is. Somebody's destroyed a cat's eye, let's say. That would make it blue, I would I would think. The other one's blue on the, the link. Right. It would make all of the other ones blue except Or in for the this case. Ones. Yeah, the in this ones case. ones are red. I see there's a waystone over here and this has not been completed. All right, I I bet we'll we'll see it as we go, I'm going to assume. Yeah. Yeah, we'll so see it as we go. Let's figure this out. So okay, let's so where create, are you exactly? I was just checking out an unfinished highway. Okay, so I am now packing these dirts and what kind of uh should we just continue this rough cobblestone? I think we'll get to to a point. Does that mean that on our deed we are going to need a waystone? Hmm. Like it doesn't ever link itself to a uh, a deed right, token. Right, yes, we will need a waystone. Right, let's um, just create a. You know, let's make this little homey and uh, create okay. a little house. How about that? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. Oh, you have to add me to the deed. Ah, yes. So let's make you a villager here. Invite I'm going to be a villager. <laughs> I do not need to teleport to Factional Village. I am here. Factional Fight right. Village. So how do you want to you build this oh, house? Oh, you're still going to have to give me permissions now. Oh, okay. So that's too, too bad. <laughs> Manage settlement roles. Citizen. I will just let you do everything. Well, thank you. So we don't run into any problems. I trust you, I think. Are you sure that that might be a mistake? <laughs> oh, you know, this is one addition that I think that could be added is 
There should be a button to allow all the items in this permission system. I thought you could like, just you know, hit where... modify and then hit uh and then hit apply. Modify. I don't hit the first modify. button. Is the first button? The first check mark that you choose. What is it called? Manage items or something or manage something? No. No. I'm under the role sit the role management. So it's called like it'll tell me the role name. It's citizen. I can change that if I want. Um, then the first section is animals, and I can let you brand. Oh, there's it no or select all. I thought there was a select all. No, there's no select all. So like, what I would like is a select all button, so that selects everything. Then as well, there should be a button under each subcategory. So like for animals, there should be a button that select all animal stuff. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Like I'd be fine with people doing all animal stuff and all digging, but I don't want them to do all construction, let's say. Right. So yeah. Okay, so let's save that and you should be able to do it. All right. Yeah, Ground I find I not flat like, there. Okay. I find that clicking through that menu is quite challenging sometimes. If I'm, you know, get a new friend and he's coming into the D, and I'm like trying to give him permissions. It's like, man, super challenging to click all hey, those buttons. There's my shed. Okay, so too it's much. A pretty, it's a pretty one. nice shed, I must say. <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> oops. All right. I'm so I guess take uh, a couple. What shall we make nails. it out of? Let's large let's nail. do planks. I got some planks. Okay. Let's do this. Um, let's have some fun. So let's uh, let's make this one the door. <laughs> Planks. I'm gonna need the mallet. Wooden. What do I want? Wooden door. Door. How about just a regular door? Okay. And I'm gonna put uh, wide windows on the side here. Oh, you should not do a door. You should do. Oh uh, well, it's too late now. It is too late. I was saying you should do the um, the one with the canopy. That's what it's called. The oh. Canopy. Oh well. That's nah, too late. That's okay. <laughs> Wide window. Let's put this in the back here. I feel like. This won't take very long to build. Uh, but as we're building this. Maybe you can tell me a bit about, uh, is the highway system in the game right now? Do you know? Yeah. I feel like yeah, it, it was, it's in the game. It happened pretty quickly in my opinion. Like it was like, whoop, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they, we didn't really hear much about it. I, I well, heard we, that it was on the test server. Right. We've heard, heard that it was coming it, for a long time. Yeah. Um, I think what was surprising is the time between them saying it's coming into the game on this date and that date was really short. I think it was like not even two weeks. So tell me about the implementation that you know. Do you feel that it has solved what they wanted to solve? I think that it's going to solve a lot of the cases where there was issues with the highways because um i feel like it is like self-management now like if i want to protect this highway i can just put these cat's eyes down and the only thing that gms are going to have to come in and like moderate is if somebody is you know purposefully destroying cat's eyes you know over and over again i think it makes it very clear and obvious to a new player that because the cat's eye is there, you should not destroy this highway. Or not only that you should not, it's that it becomes really hard to. Like you would have to spend a lot of your time bashing and digging up the pavement. Right. And, you know, like now, before this change, if there was a highway, like a new player might be like, uh, I'm just going to build a wall on this highway, or I'm just going to uh, dig up these paved tiles, which really took no effort at all. And they might not have even realized that they're destroying a highway that people need or use on a regular basis, you know. But if you think about it, so how about war machines? 
before okay. we would if we wanted to destroy something off of off of a deed we would use uh what do you call it the the large catapult right. or the small catapult or whatever uh if that's the same and it does destroy cat's eyes wouldn't that be a very simple easy way to destroy lots in a short period of time right i mean it it comes down to intent right like if somebody needs to fix the highway because they want to make it better or yeah. they want to change something to make it you know, for some reason or whatever want to change it uh i think it's legitimately okay to go and bash those cat's eyes like there should be nothing against the rules for bashing cat's eye um so long as the person isn't doing it with griefing and intent right like if the person is trying to block somebody in their deed by putting a fence around them for example you know like all that stuff that there's potential for people to do like obviously gms will intervene under these circumstances you know if i you know i don't think it's going to replace every gm intervention needed to building on a highway or something but it will prevent people unknowingly or just not realizing the impact that it has like a new player coming into the game they just premium they've been in the game for a few weeks or whatever and they're just like they got this highway i'm maybe they have an idea for what they want to do with this area and they but in the meantime they are blocking off a highway mm. access from people by accident they don't even realize that it's against the rules to do. like it's going to stop that from happening it's going to stop um you know also wanton destruction people going around for just the sake of it huh, i'm going to dig up this highway so like that person's <laughs> also not going to dig up the highway because it takes so much more effort for that person to do it all right well you, that you're right but now to the most controversial topic that we okay. could talk about do you like the look of the cat's eyes <laughs> you know i don't have too much of a problem with them in the sense that it does give a visual to the person who's traveling along the that this is an established, you know, highway. Like, I guess it could have been something other than. There's a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people, it seems, that have the problem with what they look like. And at best, a lot of people are saying the ones that are saying nice things about it are like, I guess I'll have to get used to the change or I guess I'll have <laughs> to get used to the look of this modern thing on the ground. Um, I, yeah. I don't understand the modernness of it because it's not, it doesn't look modern. It looks like a gem or something, doesn't it? Right, right. It like is a glowing yeah. magical gem, but we just happen to be able to put these glowing magical gem things right. everywhere. They're so common. Right. Maybe that's what people are uh, referring to when they say like, oh, it looks all modern. Right, maybe. Um, yeah, I, I kind of understand the argument that it is a little bit out of place. Um, Would you I have done know. something different? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not that <laughs> creative of a person. So <laughs> when it comes to like envisioning what the little item will be on a highway, if they could change what. it, what would you want them to change it to? Uh, I'm not sure. Really don't know. What would you want? You're a more creative person. Who would you want them to change it to? What do you think would be a suitable? item Did i just ruined that like you're walking down a road in a video game and something is telling you that this is an established highway what is that one that you can't modify one that's been like you know you can modify it by digging it but you can't dig it up you can't destroy the pavement 
I feel like I would not have put an item. And instead would probably I would use the way way stones and maybe put like if, if they're wanting the items uh, so that they could make it so it takes you know this much time to solidify a highway like it, you, you need to create the items is like a representation of how much time it, we want or the devs want the player to take to be able to say this is a highway. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they still want that, where like you replace the cat's eyes, the amount of time it takes to, to make them and plant them with like some other form, I probably would have maybe got people to create like some kind of concretey paste thing that they would lay okay. on the each tile in the sense that you know you know the like tar on wood planks okay like that okay but what would it have looked like when you're walking on the highway like would there be any visual to tell you that what you're, you're on a highway is a highway and not just a regular road Maybe there's just like a tint to the, like a different tint to the tile. Okay. Just like there's Maybe. a different tint. You can tell that a wood plank has tar on it than when it doesn't. I see. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not now, like against the cat's eyes the way they are personally. I don't mind them, but. The cat's eye know. gives you a nice visual representation that you're 100% certain there is another waypoint somewhere else or there's it's connecting to something you know you're going somewhere if you're following one that's green right right that does make whereas sense. one that's you blue. wouldn't have that so then the question is should we have that right um we're in a I'm game finding... that we cannot tell where we are on the map. True. Does telling us all of these things, uh, like all, all, like where deeds are, the direction of deeds, uh, the fact that how far they are, tiles, is this something that we should know? Should the game be telling us this, essentially? Hmm. I mean, I really like the feature in the sense that it does make exploring a lot more immersive in the game. You know, it's it's like it creates these signs and those are realistic in the sense that before we would have placed those signs manually. Um Mm -hmm. I like that it's an in-game system that does it because like as deeds fall or as, you know, like for example, there's signs I'm sure that point to Autumn Twilight where it used to be. And those signs will probably stay there for a while. Right. I'm finding that I can't pave any other than the regular cobblestone. I don't know. Are you finding the same thing? I haven't checked yet. Uh, I'm fine with that. Okay. I'll just continue this way then. I don't know. Do you, are you finding that there's like an issue with the fact that they have these items in the game now? Like that it like does it well, break immersion for you at all or it doesn't if it becomes a part of the game, right? But does do you feel that that sets a new precedent? Hmm. Say if we're allowed to have this, does now should we be allowed to have other things other like i i would say that like live map dumps for example with this could maybe not that far okay but this feels like we are headed in the direction of getting more magical items let's say stuff mm -hmm. like that does this unlock like certain things in the game like oh features that now we should be are we are we headed in that direction where more features are going to come to worm 
that right. will make life easier for us. Um, I mean, the I, game I, will tell us things that we would know, like right. a compass I wouldn't, that I wouldn't tells us the direction it. of things. I wouldn't be against it if that was the direction that the game is going. I mean, the, I know that there's devs mm. on the team that are very adamant about keeping Worm worm you know like giving keeping that feeling that worm has always had um so i don't think anytime soon we're gonna see um you know i don't know i can't think of an example off the top of my head but like live map for example i don't see that really happening um mm -hmm. how about I, I think that they they want to keep the sense of exploration you know does this take away the sense of exploration i don't think so because it it what it does is it makes it so that you know that if you go this way you are mm -hmm. for sure going to come upon somebody's something you know what i mean That's and true. i think that that makes a difference on a server that is less developed as it's being developed like think of xanadu and the size of it I'm walking down this highway that's super long and I don't know if it's actually going to lead me anywhere. And, um, I mean, it does help with that. And I think it does give you a good sense that, you know, stuff is over here, you know, I like it for that. I like it for the exploration aspect. I like it for, um, you know, I I personally feel like it adds a little bit of something to immersion, yeah. right? Because I know does it strike that balance. Do you feel? Yeah, I feel like because it does that balance. people are are users or players still need to do something to get it to work. Right. Whereas before we would still need to plant signs. Now we're planting signs that tell us automatically where right. we are. And how far we are. Um, right. In saying that, do you have any problem with the magical aspect of the cat's eyes and the waystone? Nah, because like there's already things like this that are magical in the game, such as mailboxes and you know the turret looking magical thingies. Um, so it's just yeah. like another thing that we have. Yeah. Yep. Just another thing, and I think yeah, it's fitting. Yeah. That's not bad. So as we complete this, what are our goals now? So we we, we, we made our place look a little homey. Mm -hmm. We got a, a nice uh, factional fight mansion going there. Uh, <laughs> and we are creating the road. So let's, uh, I'm going to need some more of this. Where I got stone bricks. I must say that the outline feature do you have amazing. that yeah i said it how it awesome is this amazing. it is amazing i can't wait until it's everything in the game now i'm also noticing there's a difference yeah in the way the trees look and the way the forest looks on the test server compared to the client really yeah like at least for me i'm not sure what it is but and like there's there are not like so what what are the differences that you see? It it feels more like there's like a there's like a filter on it, like something that makes it look all fuzzy and nice and like more like realistic. The shadows? Nope. You think just, the Yeah, well the shadows definitely play a big role. No, I don't even think I have shadows on. Let's, but let's see if I like can. Like the grass doesn't look like it looks like there's like a fuzz over it. Kind of like a filter or something very faint, but it makes it look more realistic in the sense that when I when I'm actually looking out into a real forest it's not 100% perfectly clear. There's no way that my eyes are able to like get see if that kills the me. crisp edges of every leaf perfect. Um, and I think that they did something to to sort of mimic that. So it looks a lot more realistic. Yeah, I mean, uh, are, are you sure it's not any different than, let's say, than, let's say, the uh, unstable client? on I the totally, live server i feel it's a difference between 
this i've been playing the there's a difference the past i don't know month, like months on the unstable client and it maybe. feels different here maybe there's someone can also... tell us if it is different or if yeah. it's just your eyes and maybe if this is, is what's something. coming if this is what's coming i really feel that this is amazing change um another thing that's different here speaking of differences yeah by the way, this road isn't flat is it no but that's okay because you can build <laughs> a highway on a non-flat road right we can find it later like there's another difference that i'm not sure if it's like a it, 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 i mean we're on the test server so it could be a bug people are testing stuff all over their place but one thing that i'm noticing is when i'm and you tell me if this is on yours as well when i'm highlighting a tile let's say that's on the grass for some reason it's mm -hmm. not working on the pavement but a tile that's on the grass i see this slight sh shadow along the edge of the you know it comes along with the outline so i have my faint outline i have the opacity set to 10 percent. it's a very faint outline and then yeah. just right along it is this like shadow very faint and thin have you not, have you played with the settings? So if you go to haven't really the post process setting. Okay, so let me see settings. Could be any other one because I don't have that. Post processing. Oh no, all those are on, and I had them on. Uncheck those. But why? You want to just see uncheck all of those and see if it still has. Oh it. yeah, it gets rid of it. There you go. Okay, so what is it that's doing that? Because Does that I make think... the trees look any different to you when nope. you turn them off? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does make it look a little different. Do, do they make, do the trees look worse now? Yeah, like I can, like, oh, no, actually, I mean. I don't know. Let me turn them on so I can show everybody. Did you, is there even a difference? There is a difference. There is a fuzz. Um, it's one of them. It must be the bloom. It's the bloom. Oh. <laughs> Siri, Siri wants to talk. <laughs> Is it the bloom? No, it's not the bloom. I just turned the bloom off. It's the oh, yeah. vignette. Nope, I just turned that. Off. You're right. It is one of those things. Or is it all and of it, them? And it also affects the tile border, Ooh. the tile. Um, I see. I see. I see. Whoever's <laughs> been working on this tile border thingy, I think it's Samuel. Yeah. And, Whoever else, anybody else, that this is just amazing, so amazing. Yeah, that blur when you move. Yeah, I do like that. The motion almost feels like there's a there's a little bit of uh, blurriness to it. Yeah, I, you know I what really it does like it. is it's giving it's giving it depth. Yes. That's I totally what I see. Agree. So when I look at it now, there's an actual depth to how far the trees are in my eyes. I totally agree. And and are you also getting that, like if you put your cursor over the grass, you're getting that? Yes, and, and at the same time, I can show people now <laughs> what, yeah. what you mean. It looks like... It's kind of odd. I wish there was like a way to tone it down just a little, like adjust it, like to make it like on a scale between <laughs> nothing and well this. I'm, I'm sure this is just a bug i hope it's not i really like it no i mean like, the 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 grass bug of it showing a shadow is that what you like no but it's on it's on other things like yeah i kind of like it like if you highlight the tent for example you get something kind of a shadow around the edges of the tent oh i see right and you you go on the BSB, you do it on a person, you see it on a lot of things. There's a couple things you don't see it on, like, for example, on the road. Don't see I it. Find, um, uh, I find that a little strange. Right. Especially but since I, I'm seeing a shadow of your arm. Right. <laughs> it is a little uh, strange, but I think that if it was toned back a little bit, like, that it was somewhere in between uh, this and Personally, nothing, I feel like it's a bug. I hope of it's some not. kind. As I said, I really hope it's not. I hope that it is an option that you can turn that option on or off or fade it in and out. That uh, would be, you know what? This awesome. is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a waystone right here. Okay. I need to finish on this our road. Date. Okay. I'm going to see if I can plant this view possible protected tiles. Okay. Sure. Let's plant that.
Did you know that Factional Fight Village does not allow highways? <laughs> Do we not allow highways? Okay, so there must be a setting. The manage settlement. Ooh, look at that shadow in the background. It's like Where would it be? Settings? Yeah, somewhere. Mark this if you want citizens to be able to make highway to your village. Yes, I would. <laughs> so it is under the manage settings of the settlement. Manage uh, settings just... of the settlement. All right, so click that. Oh, and there's also mark this if you want your village to show in the find root village list. Ah, so you have to actually let your village be seen. So that that allows people to stay hidden if they want to or be private mm -hmm. and there's another one that allow kos i know that this was an issue people wanted to be able to kos people while still having a highway going through there ah Damn. really but if That's i'm not mistaken that was against the rules previously is that do you, do you remember this part of the old highway rule was yeah, that you, if you, you have a highway going through your deed you cannot have anybody on your kos yeah I, th I think that was right so i think there was a controversy on the forums like somebody was like well, well what if i want to k somebody and i ha and i also want a highway coming to my that doesn't seem fair but i'm pretty sure that you weren't allowed to do that before so not being allowed to do it now is makes sense to me Okay, so I hit send. All right, there we go. So I'm planting a waystone. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like nothing. All right, so. <laughs> it's just a little pole. <laughs> it's a little pole. <laughs> All right. So now can we I, put a cat's eye on this tile cord. Can I get rid of it? I can bash it. But I can't pick it up. How about a crowbar? Can a crowbar pick it up? Do I have a crowbar? Can I a do? crowbar pick it up? Pry yeah. it off. Let's see what what prying it off does. I feel so, like I'm bashing it. <laughs> so here I plant it. It says oh. that the waystone has been firmly secured to the ground by Feyran. Yeah. Yeah. Is this in our deed? Yes, it, it is not in our deed. Huh. I damaged it by three damage, so it didn't pry it off. I thought it was just gonna like pick it up for me, but it looks like prying it is still destroying it. Okay, oh, so I can repair it just by repairing without a an item. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good. So there is something that um, I didn't mention before. It is kind of like advanced, like complicated, um, but it seems as though these items, the waystones and the cat's eyes, run on the same like mechanic as everything else when it comes to um, being on the northwest corner of a given tile is significant. So what does like, that remember, mean? Do you remember how like I don't know, like I'm not sure if catapults work this way anymore, but it used to be like if they landed on a tile, then it damages. I don't like, think the they work that way corner. anymore. Yeah, no, but they yeah, don't do that they, anymore. But like, there's something in the yeah. code that has something to do with the north. So, um, it seems as though the, let's say this waystone here, is on the northwest corner of this tile that I'm standing on. Yeah. Right. So this is the tile that governs that waystone and is being protected by that waystone, along with a three by three square around this tile. So when I look at and I say view protection. No, it's just going. Right. So it's just going here. Now, what would happen if I packed this tile and this tile and put paved it? I don't know. I, I feel like it will protect the, these two tiles here as well. So now go to that. And this one yeah too. it does it does protect it right so but if i did that on the other side it wouldn't all right give it a shot so this is important for people who want to make three tile 
wide highways. I, I'm I'm guessing it won't, but I could be wrong, so let's do it and see what happens first before I continue. <laughs> see, I haven't tested this stuff, so all I've done is read the document, and this is what I gathered. So the reason why it didn't before is because it wasn't paved, so this system does not protect non-paved tiles. That's right. So what is it? Yeah, do? so it doesn't. It, it doesn't. You're right. It only protects these ones, and it would even protect this one, I think. Let's make sure. So it is. It was protecting. Oh, you want to know if it protects that one? It, I think um, it protects this one, but it wouldn't protect the next one. That's correct. Right, because it only and you protects can, a you can three see by three. how far it goes. Now, I would suggest a change uh, to the way this works, and I I know that devs probably hate this because I'm suggesting it well after it's in the game. I could have easily come on the test server and tested this before and suggested this, but I would suggest <laughs> <laughs> that that when you go right click this thing in view protection, that it should show you the other tiles it protects even like in a different color maybe what do you mean so if the tile wasn't so for example if this tile wasn't paved oh i see tiles weren't paved it should show me the three which by three tiles square. it will protect if, if you pave if you pave it. exactly in it a different you... color like yeah. yellow or something exactly in a different color so that way if you're like planning out a road and you're like okay i'm gonna plant a cat's like a waystone here like you'll be able to see mm -hmm. that square like right away using hmm. that mechanic i definitely feel like they should do that yeah yeah okay so i want to also test another thing here yeah i'm going to um come to the next tile only taking me about a couple seconds, like one second, to plant these. That's and you can see sort of what's happening. Uh, the blue is indication that there's one waystone, and the other side's basically nothing. Like there's a, there's a break in the chain somewhere. Mm -hmm. Whereas the red is indicating the ends. As I yes. keep going, it, that's what it seems like it's it's doing. Okay. And it'll only get green when it's finished. That makes sense? That makes sense. That does make sense. Well, what are those options? If I do cat's eye, it says view possible protected tiles. I see. All right. I was having a difficulty at 10% oh, seeing that, uh... the outline on the... Yes, yes. It is much harder to see it on a paved road. On a paved road, but compared, like on the grass, it's just perfectly fine. I wonder why. Ah, it's just the color. Okay, so it seems as though I cannot put a cat's eye here. So it needs to be connected. Right, it needs to be connected. I One at a time. Here. I see. I see. Okay. So, do you have a. What happens if we don't finish this side? Yeah, what I wanted to test was coming from both directions. All right, so there's two things. I think coming from both directions is fine. Uh, there's nothing stopping that. But what if we keep going and we make it to the very end all the way to the highway mm -hmm. without putting another waystone? Would the last like... one just be red still? I think so. You know what I'm finding it difficult is that Working oh. on this together. Only one make, of us. <laughs> seriously, does it make any sense to have multiple people putting in cat's eyes? Yeah, that's Unless what I'm Unless two to. people are coming from opposite direction. That's the only way. You know, they should allow you to just plant a cat's eye in the middle. And it just looks like a dead one. So it's just a red one. So no, people no, no. can just cat's eye any place? Like maybe it should just look like gray. Oh wow! This one's this plant cat's eye is taking ten seconds to to plant. Ah, so it's off deed probably. Ah, that's right. Within the perimeter, village. Yes, yes, you are right. Mm -hmm. Two seconds or under two seconds under this on this 
deed, 10 seconds off the deed. Yeah, so I want to help you. So what I think that we should do is put a waystone on the other end. But then we won't know what will happen if we make when we make it to the to the highway. Right. Well, I guess we would know in the same way as like, you know, as I'm coming this way would when we plant the one that connects the two reds, does it all turn green and it would all turn green. Yeah, I guess it yeah. would. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a question there. So you're wondering what would happen if you got to this point right here. <laughs> yeah, at the very end, and we j all very we did was end. cat's eyes and no waystone. No waystone. My guess that. is that the last one that we plant, that we're allowed to plant, is still red. And you know what my guess is? That what? it will not let you. Even plant the cat's eye? Well, we'll see. That's my guess. So why, do you, why would you think that? So what is the, um, like the rationale in your head? In my head, I'm thinking um, it'll probably say that it needs a junction or a waystone in order to connect to the next highway. Otherwise, mm. you could leave it like that, and it would appear like you could go that way. But, but the it would be red. actually not been man made. Oh, I see, but it would be red. And then the rest of the, like, it would just be another red cat's eye and the rest of them would be blue so i guess if it came down to it i would probably prefer your way if that's instead of leaving done. a blank cat's eye at least that yes. way you've completed the installation of the cat's eyes right and then you might have to go off and make yourself a waystone because those things are kind of annoying to make yeah <laughs> <laughs> you might have to wait till all, all of season <laughs> yeah <laughs> that would be yeah I mean those have compasses have always been you know a chore to to, to create when we were yeah. creating cup we there was a while back we actually created we were trying to get into like the compass making business and like selling compasses yeah long time ago we sold and a few but not all that many we, we, we didn't sell that many but at the time there wasn't that many people creating compasses there was there's a right. few people yeah and we created some pretty good ones too like yeah we realized that did we make a compass making episode i can't remember i feel like we did talk about compasses we did so there's yeah. not only how fast the compass will will switch to be able to be unseen but then it's how fast the compass no no sorry i said that wrong yeah <laughs> it's not only how fast the compass comes back from being unsettled being unsettled but how fast or how long it takes before it becomes unsettled right right and we managed to create one that took, I don't know, 15 or 20 seconds before it became unsettled. Yeah. It's like, like a you could, while. You could run I, and not have it be unsettled for a while. I also felt like it had to do with how long you were standing still for and letting it settle. Right? Like, if you had stood still for quite a while and you're just, you know, hanging out in a single spot and the compass has been settled for a long time, you could go like 20 something seconds with this compass. And it would stay, they would stay like telling you the direction. You'd just be walking for 20 full seconds and it's like telling you that you're heading north. And then it, after that, it sort of unsettles and disappears. Yeah. And then the moment you stop, it's like back in like <laughs> 0.1 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that was the best compass we made. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think we did sell that one though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember where it went. So. <laughs> I always ah. felt okay with, you know, one that lasted maybe eight seconds or nine seconds. I didn't need it to last 20 full seconds before it unsettled. But And that was it, the issue of be trying to become a, a, a compass maker seller. Because <laughs> everyone right. is just okay with the way that, right. that they have. They didn't want right. to spend the money to get something better. However, if, somebody, if you are interested in getting a compass that just stays unset like it stays settled for pretty much ever uh yeah you investing in a good compass is 
All right, moment of truth. Here we go. It's making. It's allowing me to plant. There you go. You are right. It is red. I am right. And it stays blue. And it says, you are not connected because there's no waystone here. That is uh, good. That's good. So therefore, you need at this point to create, to put the waystone on this cat's eye. Right. Like you would have to. There would be no option because that's where the T is. That's where the the connection is. Uh, let's see. So we were told you highlight the waystone and then you hit this replace. Ding. That's oh, wait. It. No, something's, something's still wrong. That's not it. <laughs> uh, so now links. add link. a link to north. Oh, okay. Whew. Which way's north? <laughs> I did it, but it's still not not. Oh, uh, maybe we have to go to this side and say add link to south. Okay. Oh, it it has added the link, so when you view links, it does point towards our deed now. Really? Yep. Like the little arrows. <laughs> so someone but, has to be on either side. <laughs> could you imagine if this was like super long? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, ah, oh, now we have this to go back. Highway could have been like 300 tiles long. Okay, hold on. I'm seeing view links, so I'm pointing it in that direction. Okay. But there's no add link. View protection, find route. Can I find a route to the And there's no, there's no uh, connection, no. Is this on deed? You put it on the, on the edge, edge of the deed. Of the deed. Um, now, I'm guessing it's on deed technically because the tile that it's protecting, the center tile, is on the deed. Yep. Um, Was there something else that we're missing? Uh, there must be. Some... <laughs> Did we forget one? Did I run past did you, one? Did you forget no, one? I didn't. I, they're all blue. They're all blue. You're right. So there's something that's not happening that should be happening or that we're missing. I don't get the option to add the link though. Oh, I did oh. once and then it went away. Right. It went away. It goes away now. So when I view the links, it does point towards our deed. View links. And I view the link on this red one, and it's actually pointing towards the both waystone. sides, right? Is there like replace? Whoops, I don't want to replace that. View protection. Yeah, it's protecting. You have another waystone, right? I do have another waystone. What would happen if you planted if one? If I replace one of these cat size with it? If you planted one like nearer on, like in the middle of our deed. In the middle of our deed? Okay, let's try that. Yeah, this like is one like one of these. This might be good for the devs to see like what we're doing. Maybe, to, <laughs> like, hey, something isn't intuitive. Apparently, we heard that this is a little buggy. Actually, we, okay. we did hear that that from uh, a GM. Uh, did that do it? It's now that green. did it. Complicated crossings is a hundred and five tiles away. So putting. A waystone at the, the perimeter edge <laughs> of your deed is not a good idea. Yeah. That, putting it, yeah. and I don't know if it's that or if it's putting it on the opposite side of your deed token, maybe? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with the edge of the deed. Uh, well, it probably... But, Let's can go be see what that is. Right here, if you just destroy this stuff and 
It must be that it's on the edge of the deed. That when you, I, yeah, and maybe it's not, but that's what my guess would be. So let's go back to this waystone. Does a waystone have to be on? No, it doesn't have to be on deed because that one over there is not. Yeah, it doesn't. There it is. The factional fight village is 27 tiles away. There you go. Fine route. Are we in there? We're in there. <laughs> there you go. Factional fight village, 27 tiles. So that means if I go this side and I choose where's the factional fight village. It'll lead me over here, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I go back here, will it still say factional fight village this way? Hundred and like even though I'm going backwards. I guess it would have to. It doesn't know which direction I'm running. Every sign would tell me which way the factional fight village is. Right. Until Everyone. I I just want to see our name. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till this is implemented into the game. By the time everyone watches this, it is implemented into the game. That's true. You should just uh, pretend that it is. You know what's yeah. funny is that I suppose I suppose I'm like I've been playing a lot on Worm Unlimited, and they get updates like. Late. Oh, it doesn't say the factional fight village on this sign. Huh. So let's... even though already heading factional fight village. So what maybe would happen it, if we relogged? Maybe it only shows the signs that are closest or the one that you choose for the route and any of them that are closer to the, until you reach factional fight village, it only changes right, those ones for you. It doesn't change the ones further away. It knows which isn't... ones you've chosen. Right. Right. But, but if I, you can go in and um, like clear it, clear your chosen. Correct. Right? And so then it then, brings it back to complicated crossings. Right. Which is farther away from here than... That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... Okay. If you... Let's say you choose... I chose. I choose from here, mm -hmm. Factional Fight Village. Yeah. So then every sign that leads me to Factional Fight Village from this location will Onwards. automatically change. But anything right. behind here won't. That's a good anything question. Anything further away. So let's well, test that. This says Factional Fight Village this way, 87. Wait, but this only has, tiles. this ends right here. Well, it has another waystone. So if that waystone is also telling me which way Factional Fight Village is, then my theory is correct. But how do you know the further one doesn't? Because I just tested that right now by choosing this waystone oh, and see. this one didn't. I see. So you, I mean, you were saying that's how it should work, right? The sign well, should change. Well, I also change. think that the sign should be telling us factional fight because it's closer. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was saying. No, no, no. I'm talking about like the default. Like if you remove your route. Yeah. Now that factional fight village is closer than cro whatever that other. It is. would already say factional fight village, right? This waystone. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Okay. Well, it I'm did. When you, a, okay, good, awesome. So it's saying, yellow. Let's say let's say you cleared this route completely, cleared yep. the route. I feel like the other that sign that's back there down the road should It doesn't say, say factional fight village. I know, but I'm saying that it should because otherwise which deed is it telling me? Is it telling me the farthest deed? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a good question. Like is it choosing to tell me a random deed between here? It's not telling it if it's not telling me the next deed. Maybe it's telling the it next telling? deed in this specific direction. Mm, maybe. Instead of any random deed, like this way, which would make sense, right? This way like until I... the next deed going across this highway. This, like our deed is located on a separate highway that's conjoined onto this highway. So oh. it wouldn't be considered... So if I put, let's say, deed. another like couple pavements here and put a waystone over here, it should tell me the next deed is Factional Fight Village? Yes. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, that would be, that would be part of it. Yeah, uh, I guess that makes sense. 
in the same way if you just put a deed like here <laughs> right it, that would change the complicated crossings right i do have another settlement token <laughs> <laughs> But you would have to set up that whole setting. But I, I think I think we did pretty good. We were able to figure out a whole bunch of stuff uh, with the highway system. We definitely need... Do you feel we should do this for the labyrinth? Make a highway to the labyrinth? Yeah. Totally. Totally. We want people to find our place and, and explore it. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I, one thing I have to say... That I really enjoyed messing around on the test server. I really feel like I will do this more often now that I'm like comfortable with it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I can come on here and do stuff now. Before I was like scared of it. <laughs> it, it is pretty good. I, I wish that we had the ability to do a, a bit more things, like travel faster, since mm -hmm. we're just here to test. Right. Or. I don't know, be able to create items fast, some items faster. You can create some items, but you can't create all items. Right. Like we couldn't have created cat size, right? We could create know. the components to allow us to create cat size. Right. But let's, but I don't think we could get eyes. There's no mob. That's right. Or, we wouldn't right? be able to get eyes. Like there's certain so, yeah. things that you couldn't get that would yeah. be nice to be able to get. Yeah. And if it, it, if, if, Oh, sorry, what were you going to say? If you're right, if it was contained so that you could do everything yourself without, I don't know, dev intervention, intervention or GM intervention to come mm -hmm. here to create everything that you want to test, that would probably, I don't know, maybe that would allow people to it want to come here better, more. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Like if I wanted maybe, to test bridges here for example i'd have to build buildings and it would take me forever and, and i don't have access to all the materials for all the buildings I don't think. maybe it's as simple as creating a small tutorial on how to do it to <laughs> get people unafraid like you were yeah so, i don't know maybe that's an idea yeah, anyway maybe. that's the highway system everyone and i cannot wait for people to start creating their own cat's eyes their own waystones and get getting them all over all of the servers especially uh xanadu let's people connect yeah. and we just have to do our labyrinth our, our like little section that would help us <laughs> there are huge highways on xanadu oh. A lot of <laughs> anyway see you guys next week until then keep on worming take care everyone Hey everyone, thanks for watching our show all about highways. We're using the system right now to get back to the to the starting deed on the test server. Uh, we just wanted to spend some time talking to you about our Patreon page. Yeah, our Patreon page is a place where you can see all of our content and we release it uh, even early to uh, Patreon members. Um, and uh, it's a place where we just have a small community of people who love this game and and uh yeah and it's a place that you can support our show uh without the support it would be a lot more difficult for us to maintain and keep this uh show going so uh we want to spend a little bit of time thanking all of our patrons for um supporting our show and specifically uh we want to give a shout out to validate revnik daspera Deathwind, 21, Ian, Kyoko Linus, and Valiance and Kaylee. Uh, your support means so much to us and to all our patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, so go on to our Patreon page, take a look. Links below, patreon.com slash factional fight. And uh, we will, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week in Worm. Take care, everyone.